Last year for TennoCon there was a free, well it wasn't free, you had to actually turn up, but there was a sandana and I was tempted on buying one of these tickets just for the sandana until they clarified that all of these items that you get with it, I wish it would stop doing that, the sigil, the glyph, the display, even the cosmetic, it's there again, and the t-shirt, you have to turn up in person to get the code for the in-game stuff and obvious physical items. The only reason I'm doing this is because on the 30th of March they announced the digital pack. Buying this will get you the glyph, 370 platinum which is the same as the full day pass not the collector's one that I kept hovering over and the landing craft decoration as well as entering your name into the 100,000 platinum giveaway thing. I saw this and thought, well, I don't know if I can make it or not, at least this way I can still get the glyph, show my support for the event, and remembering that it actually says a portion of ticket sales, so I'll stick with that. A portion of the ticket sales, sales? I came out wrong. <laughs> ticket sales are donated to charity from TennoCon, so... It's kind of supporting the fact they're giving st money to charity as well as trying to support the event without actually being able to go there. And I actually purchased this on the 2nd or 3rd of April because I had the. I thought I was changing my name for April Fools, but once I found out my name was taken, I had to rearrange some stuff and then, if I'm honest, forgot about this. And was actually looking through the website and came across this again and thought. I will. So it was either the 2nd, 3rd, I think it was the 2nd of April, I actually purchased it. And it was a couple of days later that somebody pointed out something really interesting about this. And this is the only reason I thought I would do this. This is not sponsored in any way, I was not asked to make this. I'm, I'd already purchased this solely to try and kind of support the whole TennoCon thing, even if I cannot make it. The reason I thought I would do this is for this one line which I missed when I purchased this. Tenocon Relay unlocked in the star chart on the day of the event for exclusive digital ticket holders access to Barrow. This is not included in any of the other tickets. The only way to get this is to buy the digital pack, the digital ticket. That means the Barrow will turn up somewhere in the star chart on July 8th and will only be accessible by people who picked this up. This is why I'm making this. Otherwise, there will be a lot of annoyed people, depending on what he sells. Unfortunately, it doesn't say what he sells. We can jump to the assumption of he is going to sell exclusive stuff. It could be the Sandana from TennoCon last year. No, before you even think about it, it will not be... Excalibur Prime, the founder program is finished, locked, gone, will not return. And everything else apart from Prime accessories, from the Prime access stuff, is available within the game apart from two items. There's just two. All the event weapons are available. Most of the Primes have relics. Those who don't will be returning. I think it's Rhino that's due to return next. So he will then have relics. So people who play after that still technically have access to him if they can find somebody who has it. Plus, he has parts in the game already. There are two weapons. The Bratton Vandal and the Lato Vandal. Both closed beta weapons. One was given for free when the game came out of closed beta and the other one was purchasable with one credit for one week back in February 2013. I have mentioned this before, I don't have all the weapons. I would really like it to be the Bratton Vandal, that would make me so happy, especially considering people who are actually at the event will not be able to access this. At least it doesn't say the will. If you are going to the event, this is not the ticket you want. I wish it would list what Barrow brings, unfortunately it doesn't. So if you do want access to Barrow to see what he sells at the time, if it's not amazing, there will be hell on. If it's too amazing, there will be hell on. Hopefully whatever he brings will eventually make its way into his rotation anyway. We'll find out at TennoCon 
on July 8th. I'm hoping it's good. Possibly it won't be. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.